uh, EMS, we have started with a uh, uh, very nice presentation by uh, Major Tom, and uh, who have uh, emphasized on uh, what are the various uh, major cause of disability in the industrial area, and what are the uh, importance of the drill and responses for uh, every uh, industrial area, and uh, the importance of using the technology uh, the drones, telemedicine, and various technologies, and uh, modern day, which are the mandatory for the emergency training. And uh, training is the most important part for the paramedics, uh, various BLS session, ACLS session, ATLS session, so that they can uh, reach on time and they can provide the, uh, the pr primary response. And the training uh, he has emphasized on the uh, three aspects. One is training, training and training. The SOPs of every industrial area or the occupational health care should be in place. And the drills. Drills are the very important part for the mass casualties and whenever there is a hazard occurs in this area. And uh, also uh, we have very nice presentation by the Dr. Murarka how to uh, uh, become functional restoration of the injured patients and the another one is the preservation of the amputated part. So we need to teach our paramedics uh, the uh, emergency um, uh, room physician also uh, how to respond and how and when to involve uh, the super specialities so that our healthcare worker they can come back and uh, within the normal uh, time. So we can take one or two questions uh, if there are any by uh, our uh, Major Tom or Dr. Murarka. Uh, my question is to Dr. Anil Murarka. I am Dr. Gajendra Kumar. Uh, sir, what is the time lag and to which the amputated part must reach the hospital for the transplantation? There are two factors. Uh, one is what is the level of amputation, because it depends on the uh, like presence of muscle in that area. If we have muscles, they have very uh, less warm ischemia time. If the amputation is on the fingers and all, we can take quite a few hours also, uh, and uh, we can do that. And other is uh, the season. Suppose uh, it's a warm season, it's a summer, Delhi summer is quite bad. In those cases, the, uh, muscles can get dis, uh, destroyed very early. So it's like that. But the distal part, if we, uh, I mean, four, four to six hours is the okay time, but uh, winter you can prolong that. More proximal the amputation, we are care very careful that we don't uh, do it once they, came, uh, once they come very late because they have a lot of muscles and in those cases, we, if we replant, there can be reperfusion re, 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 injury also and, we, uh, and the patient can die in those cases. So in those cases, we are very careful. Sir. Earlier they come, better it is. Uh, sir, uh, uh, yes, excellent sir. presentation by Dr. Tom and uh, Dr. Murarka. I am an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, in the background, just I wanted to tell, we have lost one of the best actor and the human being in Karnataka, that is uh, uh, Dr. Puneet, Ra uh, Puneet Rajkumar. So what I just wanted is, in case if you collaborate with uh, Dr. Murarka and Dr. Tom, if they collaborate with, what will be the future? I just wanted to you enlighten us. You understood, sir? My question, you understood? See, that will be the ideal situation. If we can uh, get the emergencies in proper time, and uh, if uh, that it is that is possible, uh, it, it is getting possible because a lot of times we are uh, like suppose we have to transfer some amputated part and other things. Uh, uh, now the government is creating green corridors and other things, so things are getting better. So that is the ideal situation. Uh, so one question to Dr. Anil. So, with the amputation, the level of disability is something. And what happens after correction of the amputation? I'm here, I'm here. 
see with the amputation the disability is a certain percentage okay after correction what happens to the disability it is revised or it continues to be the same you want to uh, ask me about disability uh, after the correction that has to be revised that has to be revised. see some some patient comes with the amputation of the thumb thumb amounts to about 50 percent of the hand disability but if he gets uh, reconstructed if that he gets thumb reconstructed we have a like it's there in the government hospital they have a board which and they'll analyze the patient, they'll evaluate the functional part, whatever has improved, and according to that, they'll give you the disability. Yeah. Yeah, uh, last question. Dr. Yes, Dr. Moraka. Yeah, last question. Uh, I have I'm simple afraid, clarification. Sir, we, we've run out what? of time, sir. We need to proceed yeah. with our plenary session. Yeah. So, one simple clarification. Okay, yes, we can take okay, last, last question. question sir. See, we had uh, one hand surgeon with us. Actually, he has taught us to preserve the amputated part in dipping it in Ringer lactate solution. In? Ringer lactate. Ringer lactate. Earlier, this may be about some 50, 20 years back. But you said it has to be kept separately in a polyethylene cover. It should not be in contact with either with water or any other material. Uh, is there anything, you know, change in this 20 years period or or any advantages or disadvantages are not different. I, I, I don't know uh, yeah. because if you go through the literature also, I've never heard that it should be preserved in liquid. It should be always wrapped in a, ideally in a wet saline gauze, not very, and then kept in a polythene and that polythene should be tied nicely so that nothing enters that and that should be kept in a ice. It should not be in direct contact with the uh, uh, with the ice. Yeah. All right. So Round thank you, plots. thank you so much. Uh, so we are uh, running uh, out of time, and uh, we close the session. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Tom, and thank you, Dr. Muraka. Thank you.